photography learn photography photographer let's see Peter McKinnon Maria Puja F stoppers great guys I learned so much from them but hey where are the women on this list <laughs> guys my name is Priscilla Elias and yeah the beginning of this video is just so true we are still so few on YouTube not only as photographers but as content creators in general female youtubers are still a minor portion of the youtubers out there and since I know some that are just awesome I just wanted to share their work with you on today's video I'll give you a list of my top five female youtubers who are also photographers but before I do that I would only like to ask you that if you like this video you will please hit the like button subscribe to this channel and if you still haven't done that also click the little bell down here so you will be notified when I release new videos so here we go number one on my list will be Yona Yintong I recently stumbled into her work and oh my god I, I just fell in love so hard with it. Yona is an amazing Swedish photographer but not only that in so many ways she's an exceptional artist. She's also a videographer, a painter and a musician and uh, about nine years ago she quit her job and with no money or real perspective on how to make some she went back to her roots to live in a small house in a small city in the north of Sweden and there she started creating the amazing content she creates Now she has more than 1 million followers, but it took her courage and determination to construct the life she wanted when she still had nothing. It's so inspiring, I, I don't even have words to describe it. You really gotta check her out. The second female YouTuber and photographer I would like to talk about is Sorel Amore, or that's the way I would spell it. I don't even remember how I got to know her, but the truth is YouTube tends to be great at presenting us good new content creators. Sorel is a photographer who got known for taking advanced selfies and teaching people how to do that. It is all good and great, people telling you to feel great about yourself and be confident and just get used to who you are and all the body positivity stuff. Sure, that's really great. But the problem is, you stand in front of the mirror, I think you look great, but then you go out later on and someone takes a photo of you and you look like a disaster. That is not what you thought you looked like. You thought you were slaying life. You thought you looked damn good. You start thinking to yourself, am I delusional for thinking I look good? What is wrong with me? Damn, I must be ugly. But honey, it is most likely the fact that you just don't know how to pose properly. And there are some tricks that models have up their sleeves that make them look so good. So without further ado, Take a look at her Instagram. It's mind-blowing. She's an amazing photographer, but also she's a very fun, intense, genuine person who's interested in contributing to creating a better world through small actions, such as teaching people how to reduce the plastic consumption, planting trees, being a minimalist when it comes to consuming and so many other things. And her photos have this high-quality fashion touch I really, really like. woman on this list is Anya Anti. She's an awarded fine art photographer from Ukraine that is now living in New York. She creates beautiful fairy tale like feminine and thoughtful photos with a story behind them and she also has a YouTube channel where she shows the making of and the editing process of some of her photo shoots. Besides all that she also travels the world as a workshop instructor.
The next Supergirl I want to talk about is Jessica Cobesi. Out of all the female artists on the list, Jessica, along with Yona Yinton, is the one with more followers. At the time I record this video, she has about 1.69 million followers. So if you're a photographer and if you've been learning photography with YouTube tutorials, you've probably come across one of her videos before. She's a fashion and portrait photographer based in Detroit, and she has hundreds of videos with photography tips of all sorts, from equipment reviews to photography business related related talks, editing tutorials, photography how-tos, photography challenges, and so much more. worth taking a look at her work. The next one is Catherine Manning. Catherine's channel is not about photography, her channel is about how to grow on YouTube, but she actually has a degree in photography and you can definitely tell that when you watch her videos. More than that, I think she nailed the act of doing videos also. As a photographer and a YouTuber, I absolutely love her channel because not only it has some good tips about the YouTube business, for the ones of you who do YouTube and want to keep updated, but also her videos are just so pleasing to watch. She's great with talking to the camera, the angles are beautiful, the colors are great, everything on her videos is just on point. So if you're also a YouTuber, you have to check her out and grab some tips on how to grow on the platform. She's just great. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a December analytic report. Now, if you guys didn't watch my October or November one, basically what happens in these videos, I'm gonna go over my analytics on YouTube. I'm gonna talk about the views I got, the subscribers I got, as well as the money made from YouTube ads. And the last female artist and YouTuber I want to talk about today is Anita Sadowska. Anita is a professional swimwear and beauty photographer based in London. She also has a YouTube channel about photography where she shares her technical knowledge and her experience of working in the fashion industry for over 10 years. She's putting out some very interesting and informative content which I really think is worth checking out. <laughs> other good female photographers doing YouTube? If you do, please drop me a comment with a link for the channel down here so I can check it out because I will also love to follow and support other women's work. I hope you take a minute to watch these girls' videos and I hope they inspire you just as they inspired me. And I also hope you like this video. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!